Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and look at me, I'm reviewing a comic. <laughs> so, uh, this book just made me sad. Um, this is Wildstorm. DC's brought back Wildstorm, but uh, we're going to talk about that. This is Michael Cray, issue two. Uh, I actually really, really like this thing where they show that it's, a, I believe, a 12 issue maxi series. I love this. I wish they do this in all their books, all their maxi series. I think it's actually nice and dynamic, um, but man, I love that this book suck, which really kind of kills me because I've been talking about Brian Hill being an excellent writer. I've been talking about him. Give him the reins, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something. And this is where I'm blaming right here. There is no reason for Brian Hill at this stage of his career to continually be saddled with co-writers. It happens at Top Cow. Every postal and all the books he does, he always has to get saddled with another person who's usually kind of like in a senior position. And so basically it put a writer should be a writer or a writer should be a co-writer. But this with thing, we've seen Brian Hill with Warren Ellis on Postal, it's Brian Hill with someone else. He's basically put in like a screenwriter and the other person is a producer. I don't like it because we've seen on, they had this Monsters Unleashed with Gogurt Hulk and the story was freaking amazing. It actually made me not hate Amadeus Cho, Gogurt Hulk. And it was very memorable. It had Zemnu the Titan in like, not done in this like dumb tongue in cheek uh, hipster way, but actually a great story. God, this book was awful. So we start off, and it's, oh, God, it's freaking steampunk. Very, very poorly drawn steampunk, might I add. Um, and also, this whole thing is just like, so I've talked just about this before in the other, when I did the Wildstorm and the other Michael Cray. Wildstorm in the 1990s was big. We're talking big muscles, big hair, big boobs, big guns, everything big. All their stuff was crazy. Wildcats, or no, I'm screwing the, so like Wildcats, Team 7, Grifter, uh, was the guy with the black and he had these cables come out of his arm, but his, uh, I can't remember, Black Shot, Back Shot, this is something, now it's sounding it's like something from a Nurkish video. Um, but. <laughs> Anyway, Gen 13, come on. Big, fun, very kind of like uh, American comics. Wildstorm got bro brought back as basically a pitch for like a crackle or freeform like six episode miniseries. For those who don't know crackle or freeform, we're at something called peak TV. There's never been more channels, more uh, streaming services, there's never been more TV shows produced in a single time in history. So there are just so many shows you can never catch up with them. You know, they got different tiers. And then like Crackle or Freeform, those are like, they don't, they have these really, the funny thing is that they'll actually have actors you recognize, but like the stuff is cheap. Like, um, so everything here is dialed down to the uh, budget of a Crackle miniseries. So we start off with a freaking uh, virtual reality steampunk training session. Huh. And the thing is, you don't even get to see something him do anything. So he comes down, he's sneaking, they're like, man, this guy's so unpredictable. He'll never do what you think he's gonna do. And then he just throws a smoke bomb and a grappling hook. I have no idea what's going on. They're aiming at him. No, they're not aiming at him. <laughs> I guess they're doing Kentucky windage, uh, which is when you kind of offset uh, your point of uh, aim because uh, you know the wind's going to push the bullet over. I don't think that was intentional. I think they're just trying to be dramatic. Like they almost had him, and then they did. Then he threw his freaking smoke bomb, threw a grappling hook, and now he's like freaking flying. He points his dopey steam gun pistol shoots her arm takes the pistol oh my gosh and then he shot the, oh my gosh he's a steampunk savage um, and then he says you're all hired even though they said they're terrible and then it's like this like 
This looks like they're some graphic design lab. So they're they were doing uh, virtual reality and these like horribly misshapen, melting face people. Look at that. This is a DC comic. That is embarrassing, dude. Um, so then again, we get the the crackle all stars. Just everyone, their costumes are just clothes, but they were in virtual reality. And then he basically says, "Y'all suck," and uh, I'm doing it all on my own. And then it's got even, it got even more weird because uh, Death Blow Michael Cray, who is this like huge white guy, he looked like the Hulk. Um, now he's just like generic black guy from every other TV show, which is, it makes it real obvious. And at first he had cancer, and he had to complete these missions to get his cancer medicine. And now they're like, oh, no, no, you're, you're, no, you're good. You don't really have cancer. And it's like, oh. <laughs> um, uh, so then uh, he's, uh, then they're just talking, um, and he goes on this mission where he's like, a uh, homeless vet. God. Afghanistan three tours. It's why I don't sleep much. And then you get this is just weird. So it goes to the Oliver Queen Second Chance Center. Then they make a point of saying this this blonde girl, who you can only tell apart from the other blonde girl because she has slightly longer hair. Uh, then she like tranks him, and then he wakes up, and then Oliver Queen is like this super villain. He's like, who now the hunter has become the hunted boy. I mean this. This art sucks. Um, so then we just get into this stupid thing where it's God. This book. This is an awful comic. Sorry. Um, and then it's like a pistol versus an arrow. And he's like, Yeah, but you don't know. Now they do think one thing that I like is that the hero should be awesome. But with this trash of art, like it sucks. He's like running, shooting his gun sideways. Not just sideways, but like practically upside down. It's like. It's not just like this. He's like, <laughs> what is that? Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. That freaking movie with the Wayans brothers. So then his new thing is that he can dissolve things with his hands on like an atomic level. Kind of like knife hand, except for he's like acid hands or something like that. This has nothing to do with Death Blow or Team 7 or IO or any of this stuff. So then he dissolves it and then... He goes, where? There. Are you still with me? Oh my gosh, he was behind him. Wow. So, anyway, then we get to see that generic black guy from every TV show can outfight Oliver Queen. I thought this Wildstorm was in the same universe as the DC universe. Obviously it's not. Because Oliver Queen just gets taken down like a complete punk. And I can't show the rest of it. Damn, that comic sucked. The deal is, you know, I say rules like, don't forget to be awesome. But there was this line from Inception that was in the trailers that I always loved. Where it was uh, Tom Hardy, you know, when he was just started appearing in movies. And everyone's shooting, like, pistols. And he's like, he, he's like, you've got to dream bigger. And then he comes out with this, like, uh, drum magazine grenade launcher. Now, when I saw that trailer, I thought, oh, this this is going to be like the Matrix. Like, you just imagine the most incredible things, and then in this world, you're able to... You know, it wasn't like that at all. <laughs> it wasn't that, no. I don't, I don't really like Inception that much, but you got to dream bigger. I do not... It, 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 like, bothers me, like, in my soul, that comic books would purposefully dial themselves down to the budget constraints of a Crackle 6 episode miniseries and they dialed down everything the thing is that michael cray he was like a freaking maniac like the other people on team seven were scared of him everyone was scared of him he was a freaking beast who is this guy this guy should be in an all-state commercial are you a safe driver blah 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 like whatever Seatbelt safety <laughs> all right this is a quick one <laughs> this is just sucked I hated that comp anyway the the author's a good author. I think he's being saddled with a bunch of stupid rules and some, like, uh, outline or something provided by Warren Ellis or whatever they're trying to do. I don't know if Warren Ellis is trying to do, like, a Bendis thing. I'm just going to chase that Bendis thing all around the freaking very nice hotel. I like Alos. 
Anyway, so thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the Patreon and Super Chat. And no thanks to Heather Antos for trying to get my Patreon taken down. You're not taking money away from me. You're taking it away from the freaking uh, minority that that it's... Uh, <laughs> it actually is. It's going to... Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a Hispanic uh, f a foreigner. Uh, and you're taking money away from him if you get the Patreon taken down. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll have more videos up. Uh, oh, I'm going to be doing a, uh, uh, I'm doing a, uh, live stream of, uh, Batman, the Dark Prince Charming, which is like a prestige book. It was like 13 bucks. So that should be a, good, a pretty good one. Thanks. Bye.